everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a classroom pop-up. And this is just a mock-up, and you might not be able to see the whole thing here, but we've got a lot of goodies in the file to make this card. Also, I thought it would be fun to do this card because the first week of May is Teacher Appreciation Week. So why don't we go ahead and head over to Design Space and I'm going to show you all the pieces that we'll get in this file and I'll meet you there. Okay guys, now that we are in Design Space, these are all the pieces that will come in this file. These four pieces right here will go sit on top of your chairs if you want to hide the rubber band that shows a little bit on the mechanism. This piece is the piece that secures our latch that will go around. And if you want to use these two pieces, this is what I used on the front of my card. So what we can do is go ahead and add any additional pieces we would like to add to our card. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And we can go ahead and cut our pieces out and I'll meet you back at the craft table and we can put this together. I'll see you there. Which okay, guys, now that we are at the craft table, what we're going to need is our card base, our pretty pieces of paper, and our pieces that we're going to use for our closure. So why don't we go ahead and get those pieces out? Okay, so what we can do is go ahead and work our score line for our card base here. And the reason why I didn't connect this piece like our other one, if you've done our other closure, is because I wanted the card base to be a little bit bigger. So we're just going to add the pieces here to our card base. So these are the pieces we'll need to make our little closure. So why don't we go ahead and work on this piece with the one score line. Work that score line real quick so you need to decide which way you want your car base to open so this week our car will open like so okay the piece that's closest to us is going to we're going to put this piece on it okay and then this piece will go at this end and the shorter end is going to be the piece that we're going to put our glue on and we also want to go ahead and snip our corners down here just take a little bit off of it like so and then we can put glue on it and we're just going to bump it up to our score line so it looks like so that's what it looks like on that side so why don't we go ahead and do that so that's how the flap is looking so far and then for this end we're going to work all four of our score lines the end with the score lines that are further apart from each other it is going to be a valley fold and then a mountain fold and then the two ones at the bottom that are closer together both of those are going to be mountain folds so now that we have those work in with the mountain valley fold we're going to put glue inside here and glue it down and that way we will have a piece that will pivot back and forth like so so why don't we go ahead and put some glue in there and glue that down and then once we have it glued you should have a side that looks like this and then on this side it should look like that And then what we're going to do is 
make sure that this piece that we haven't glued down yet is facing away from us because it will close like so okay but we're not ready to glue it down quite yet so we're going to fold this down and our flap should be away from us like this okay you want it underneath if it folds folds underneath then this piece will glue with the smooth edge pointing up so where it's folded so this part where it's wider we want it facing down and we're just going to glue it to our first score line here okay so we're just going to bump it up to it and it will look like so once we have it glued down and we want to make sure our clean nice clean folded edge is facing up so why don't we go ahead and glue that down and you want to try to center this as best as you can this is the back of our card we have the square up to the first score line which looks like this on this side and then we have an area and then another score line okay now that we have everything on that's needed to be on we can go ahead and put our pretty paper down and just keep in mind that our pretty paper, I mean, our card is going to be going like this. So if you have a certain pattern, make sure you're putting it on the right way. So this is going to be the top of my card like so. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my pretty pieces on. And now that we have our top pretty piece on what we can do with our little flap here is go ahead and just put a little glue on each side like so and then we're just going to fold it to the front of our card so we should have this little pocket right here and we want to give this a second to set on our end so while this is drying we can go ahead and put the rest of our pretty paper on so let's do that Now that we have our card done we can and if you think this is dry enough you can fold this over and it will fold under your flap like so so we don't need any extra supplies except for our glue and paper cute cute now what we can do is let's go ahead and get our pieces out um, to make our classroom now this piece is our top of our desk so we can go ahead and work that score line so you should have something that's looking like that and I didn't have any brown color wood so I just went with the blue that I had and then on these two square pieces we have two score lines we can go ahead and work those Okay, we have those pieces worked now we can get out our little mechanism so it will be all the ones on this main piece are going to be valley folds so it should be valley 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 which is four valley folds and then what we're going to do is fold it up to our little piece the tab on top okay and fold it around like so and then we've made ourselves a little box here so it looks like that okay so then what we can do is go ahead let's put some glue there and adhere it to the other side of our big top piece here 
so your big piece should be sticking up and then we're going to fold our legs down for a um, mountain fold and then we have two more score lines down at the bottom and we want those to be a mountain fold also now if we get our piece for our desk out your piece is going to be like so and your legs area is going to fit on it just like so if you fold your legs up like this they should meet the end of your desk just like this and then this piece should end up right at the edge of the top of your desk and you want to work this back and forth to make sure it's moving nicely so i'm going to go ahead and just glue from this section here and stop at my score line and you'll line it up right in this area on each side okay so let's go ahead and do that so if you notice it fits right at the edge of the inside of my desk this is what it's looking like from this side and my legs fold over right at the edge of the bottom of my desk okay so once we have that in place we can fold this piece back and put glue on that square here and it should end up just about at the edge of the top of our desk so we can go ahead and do that and now we're just going to push it against our desk and this is what it should be looking like so far okay then we can take the top of our desk which is this piece here and the wider piece is going to go on top of our desk and you want to have that centered as best as you can on your desk so you have a little on each side then once you have it centered we can go ahead and put glue on the top here so let's do that so it looks like this now that our square here is glued to the top and now what we're going to do is raise this piece up and put a little glue and adhere it to the front of our desk so why don't we go ahead and do that so now we have this piece done and it should be able to move back and forth like so so once we have our desk in place our legs we want to make sure is flat like so now okay and those legs are going to bump up right into our score line like so so when it folds up it will look like that okay so you want to kind of center your desk in the middle if that's how you want to do it i'm gonna center mine so once you have it how you like it you'll just put a little glue on these tabs here and then lay them down so let's go ahead and do that so that's where I bumped mine up to the score line there and if you fold your card up like this your legs won't go past and then this is what it's looking like on this side so now what we'll do is take glue and put it on our box here to do is make sure this is all laying down flat and we're only going to put it on our square nothing up here on the top of our desk okay 
So if we have it laying flat, let's put glue on it and then pull this shut. And you want to give this a second to dry. But if you want to open it to check it, just go very slowly. And there we have our desk. We need to give this a second to dry. Now on this piece that goes on the top up here, it's just an extra piece to give it some support. So I didn't do any score lines. So what you can do is just put it on your piece where you want it. Like I have it here. I think that's pretty good. And then we'll just make our own score line. So I like to run my finger down like so and then bend it. And then go the other way and then bend it. And then it matches up in the back back here. And we just need to put a little glue on it and go ahead and glue this piece down. What we can do is I like to start in this piece so you can put a little glue on just the center piece and then we can turn it over and do our back pieces. So now we have our decorative piece on top and this is what the inside of the card is looking like so far. So now we can work on our little um, boxes here and these will be for our desk. I am going to be using the number 12 um, 1 and 3 fourths by 1 and 16 inch uh, alliance rubber bands. You can use any rubber band. It doesn't have to be those. Those are the, the one I just prefer. So what we're going to do now is work our little boxes here. So why don't we work all the score lines? Okay, so now that we have our pieces worked, it's going to be a mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain, valley, mountain, mountain. And then we're going to have in our valley, where our two circles on each side will come up and kiss each other like so. So we need to put some adhesive in here and tape i don't think will be strong enough to work so i always use glue for this so why don't we go ahead and put that together and then while this one is drying i'm gonna go and do the next one so again mountain 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 valley mountain mountain and then in our valley we want to put glue and glue it together Okay, so now that we're finished folding, we got our little assembly line going. We're going to go back to the first one that's been sitting the longest. Now what we're going to do is get our rubber band. And you can actually use a smaller one for this if you want. But since I don't have a smaller one, what I'm going to do is put it through the hole. And then I am going to make an X, so kind of just fold it over itself, and then back to the other side. And so our loop should be on the opposite side of our little moon shape here. So we'll push this forward into our little moon and then we're going to take this loop and we are going to loop it around to these other holes we have up here. So you should have something that's look, looking like this and then it looks like this on this side and then we're going to Place our moon back in its spot and we are going to fold this piece up to make it a full square so we can put glue all over this area right here and then fold our lid on top so we have a box. There 
there's our glue. We're going to fold this up. It's going to hit right in that square right there. And then we're going to give it a little pinch together. And then once you have it together, you can actually just pinch it down. It'll fold down. So I'm going to pinch it and make sure we can give it a good squeeze. Then we have our little box. So we can set this one aside and go to our next one. And I'm going to show you one more time with this. So we have our square that we glued together pointing up. We're going to take our rubber band and put it through the holes. We want the rubber band, the biggest part of the rubber band on the moon side. If you're using a bigger rubber band, if you have a smaller one, you might not need to do this. And then we're going to make an X and go back to the other side. So now we should be, the larger part of our rubber band should be on the opposite side of our moon shape over here. So we're going to fold our square into the score line of our moon, like so. And we're going to loop it around our holes on this side. So you should have something looking like that. Looks like that on that side. And then once we have that, we're going to put our moon back in place. So it should look like so. We're going to put glue all here. And we're going to fold it up and fold it over like so. So let's do that. And then you can just squeeze it down and give it a good squeeze to make sure it's adhering to the other side and then we can set this box aside so i'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of these so now that we have our boxes done if you find your rubber band that you see at the top and if you face it away from you your little box will fold forward and that's how we want it to fold into towards the inside of our card. So here's the rubber band. And if I push it away from me, it will fold away from me. So that is where the back of our chair comes into place. So your box should be be just as wide as this and you'll be able to glue the back of your chair to it so then we have a little chair so the most important thing is to remember that you want to make sure your box is pushing in like so like this into the card so once you've figured that out which if you have your rubber band up here it will fold away from us we're going to take a little glue and put it on here and then get our piece the way we want it facing. And then we're just going to put it right on our box. So that's what it's looking like. Now if we push it forward. Our chair will lay down like so. So now what we can do is go ahead and put the rest of our chairs on the back of our piece here. So you just want to make sure your rubber band is here on top like so and it'll glue to the back and how we can test that out if it folds down away from us that's how we want it. So let's go ahead and finish these up. So I'm using acetate in this one. If you want, if you don't have this it's okay. You can use a uh, paper like I did in this one here and you really don't see it that much um, in your card. If you wanted to use paper I would use something that would match along with your pieces here. 
but what we're going to do is get the top of our desk and I am going to take some tape and put it underneath my desk on this little lip over here because glue doesn't really work on acetate. And these pieces, I didn't measure. I just actually just cut them off. And you don't want it any wider than the piece of your desk. So this is about three-fourths of an inch wide and two inches long. And it doesn't have to be exact measurements. I just eyeballed the cut. So we're going to take our tape off and we are going to take our acetate or paper and stick it on our tape up to the score line. So that's how it's looking. But it right up to that score line there. You want to try to center it the best that you can so when we have that done what we're going to do is give some room you know like if you're sitting at the desk you want some leg room here so about like that and then we can go ahead and cut the rest of our piece off at the end so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of tape on my piece here. And then I'm just going to line it back up to the bottom of our piece where we cut it off. So we should have something that is looking like a school desk. Now what we're going to do is take another chair a piece and we're just going to take some glue and put it on our tab here and we're going to as straight as we possibly can bump it up to the chair in front of us like so So let's go ahead and do that. And so now we're going to do the same thing to this desk. Now what we're going to do is take our set of chairs and we are going to put it inside of our card. And when we're placing our card, we want to make sure we're not going outside of the card base or going too close to our desk. And what we can do is lay our two sets of chairs flat so we can get an idea of where they're setting when the card is going to be closed. And also don't forget to keep in mind the back of your card. You don't want to be too close to it either. That we have an idea where we want our chair to lay. We can turn it over and we're only going to place glue on the back chair for now. So let's do that. And remember we don't want to go outside of our card when we're placing our chair down. Now that we have our first set of chairs down, we need to give it a second to dry. So let's get our other set of chairs. We're just going to try to line it up with our first set of chairs we laid down. And we're going to turn it over and put glue on just the back chair. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's pick up this front chair here. And what we're going to do is just kind of flip it up like this. And we're going to turn it over and put glue on the bottom of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have glue on the bottom of our chair, we want to place it down. But what we don't want to do is pull it too far forward or squish it up to the back chair back here. We just kind of want to let it lay natural. And then once we get it down on the paper, if we give it a minute to set and dry, we can go ahead and push 
our chairs forward so we can really give it a chance to adhere to our paper. So we'll just pick it up, put a little glue on the bottom of it, and let it lay naturally. You don't want to pull it too far out and don't want to scooch it too far in. But once you have it in place, what you can do is hold it and then push this one forward and give it a good smush. And then look what we have, our cute little desk. So why don't we go ahead and finish decorating our card and I'll be back to show you what I come up with. Okay, guys, so here is the finished product of the card we made together. It says how sweet it is to be taught by you and I love how all of these little pencils and crayons turned out and then we open it up and i did some decoration here which is in the file and then i decided to put a ruler here which i thought was cute but then we open it up and look at all of this we have our four desk we have some pencils and paper on the desk here which I love and I'm going to turn it this way so we can see and then we have the chalkboard and chalk and an apple and then on the teacher's desk we have eyeglasses like a paper or a calendar a pencil and then a bucket there of pencils a ruler and I just love how this turned out. I think any teacher would enjoy getting this. Isn't that cute? And to shut this, we just push this down and lay this forward. And then use our little new closure. But look at this. I decided to make a piece of paper to put on the back so we can jot a note to them. And I am just loving how this turned out, guys. I, I really... I think this is one of my favorite cards oh i don't think i showed this down here we have a stack of books on this side and then um a globe over here do you guys know which school supply is, is the king classroom the ruler <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye!